Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about a company called G Code, which makes a lot of tactical gear and accessories and stuff. But more importantly, we're going to talk about this holster and my journey with G Code and this holster. All right, so first off, the company, G-Code, you can find them at tacticalholsters.com. They are a company in North Carolina, so they are an American company. And basically, how I got into getting tangled with them was I was looking for a good duty holster. And I have probably five or six concealed carry holsters. And... Concealed carry holsters, you can get some that are more universal that'll fit multiple, you know, multiple firearms. As long as the frame is kind of the same, you know, you're not really going to have problems. But when you start getting into more holsters like this, more duty holsters, that's when the, the you know, your love of the sport of firearms can get rather, rather trying. Because not only do companies have to make a holster like this for your specific firearm but they also have to account for variations okay variations in you know one particular firearm and that's kind of I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that's what I ran into and there are companies that you can get holsters from obviously like Safari Land which is a big one and I, I wanted something other than a Safari Land you know, just call me whatever. But I found G Code and I've seen reviews of people that, you know, well, were kind of iffy on their products, but I wanted to try for myself. So I went on their website, found this holster, and this is one of their XST holsters. And it is a level two holster because it has two levels of retention. The first level, of course, obviously is the frame itself and then you have a canopy mechanism here uh, for a second level of retention okay and they have their proprietary mount system which is called the RTI mount which is rapid transition interface mount and basically you know it's kind of like well I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna compare it to anything else because this is their mount and it's it's really simple to get off you just unclip it like that and the piece comes off and that's the RTI plate and then this is the RTI mount and of course this can be mounted and and you know you can you can make it cant either way and you know real simple put it on push it down push the other side of this little these little tabs here that these little tabs here when you push it and it locks it slides the pieces across that lock over the the bolt head there and keep it in place so you can really quickly change out holsters to the mount system very, very quickly. And it holds it very, very securely like there's, there's no play. The problem that I had, I love, love, love this holster. Love it. Can't stress that enough. This is a HK VP9 tactical model. The weapon is clear. Does not have a mag. And <clears throat> I love this gun. Love it. But this is not a concealed carry weapon, for me anyway. It's something that I wear on a battle belt at the range to do all my training. And when I bought this holster for this gun, here's the problem that I ran into. Okay, you can see from this this video representation here, which I contacted G-Code. They told me to make a video of my problem, which is what you're seeing here now. And you can see it's, it's in the canopy. The canopy won't close. It will not articulate all the way over the back of the slide. Okay, that was the main issue. All right. So, made the video. You know, I called G-Code. Got a very nice lady on the phone. She told me to make the video. And, you know, they would let me know something. Now, the whole reason why I'm making this video 
is because most companies, when you get into problems like this, you know, I thought maybe it was just my gun. Is the tactical model somehow different? I, I don't know. So the only thing I could think of really to do was to take a friend of mine's completely stock VP9. And I fed it into the into the into the holster and had the same problem. And the problem I was having, as you saw from the, the, the video uh, that I just played, was that the canopy would not close. Well, I sent the video to G-Code, and uh, they sent me an RMA and told me, would I mind sending the holster back to them to let them remake a canopy piece and send the holster back to me? And this is what I got back. A perfectly functioning level 2 retention holster. So, what is the point of me making this video? Well, this is the, the type of service that you're going to get when you deal with a company like G-Code. This is my experience. Take that for what it's worth. You know, they didn't supply this holster. Uh, you know, they don't sponsor me. Uh, hey, G-Code, I appreciate it. I love your company. And if you want to sponsor me, feel free. Email link in the description. But anyway, the... The whole reason why I wanted to make this video was that I appreciate when a company does stuff like this because it would have been very, very simple for G-Code to just tell me, hey, you've got a different variant of that weapon that you know our holster doesn't support because I'm here to tell you, you will, you will run into that. You will run into fitment problems because companies... For whatever reason you know they they will change things on guns and let's face it you know these these poor companies you know that have to make holsters for for us they have a huge volume of weapons to try to mold these two to make these holsters so when I just went to g-code and I had the problem with the canopy not the holster. Like the holster itself fit the gun beautifully. Very snug, you know, perfect. You know, it was just the canopy. That was the only issue, was the canopy. And for G Code to, you know, reach out and have a, a dialogue with me over this issue and, and then, you know, take the holster back. Not just issue me a refund, which is, you know, what I was really thinking most companies would do because I've had it done before. They just say, okay, well, you know, your gun's not supported, so just send it back, we'll give you a refund. But no, they, they actually fixed it. They actually made me a new canopy piece, and I just really wanted to shout them out for that. You know, I really do appreciate when a company does that to make me, the customer, happy. So G-Code, uh, you will be getting... A lot more of my business I love this holster I love your mount system and yeah so I just like giving credit to a company when they stand behind their products and they look out for us and that includes you so yeah give them a, a shout out uh, you know if you're looking for a uh, belt holsters uh, they have harnesses all kinds of stuff and like I said they're at tacticalholsters.com so yeah this is just my, my thoughts, my opinions, and I just wanted to share them with you, and yeah, that's it. Thumb up, thumb down, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Peace.